I mean, it's important, I think, anyway, for if you're going to be a band, in the sense of having a band, that you can get on with yeah, people anyway. Yeah, touring. Touring, which It you helps. Do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which you can do. And in fact, in our monitors now, we have some live performance. I mean, I, I mean, have you done a lot of live gigs yourself? I have, yeah. yeah. Have, uh, in Europe, I've been to America, so well, I'm really looking forward to this, it. This, in fact, is live Europe. This is Ross Skilder. Do you remember Ross Skilder last summer? Let's take a look and remind ourselves. <laughs> Over live, something we recorded uh, oh, our own sounds at the Tabernacle. <laughs> and actually, we had a really nice letter from uh, one of your fans, I presume, must be, saying how much they enjoyed that and uh, how you could possibly never capture the intimacy of what we had there on record. Do you think you did? <laughs> I don't know. God, no. Give me sounds a... like the, the flattest singer of the year competition <laughs> to me, but there you go. <laughs> well, it was a sound check and stuff as well. Anyway. <laughs> Pre, pre the gig. And the thing is, of course, uh, Steve was well up front there. I mean, I interviewed you that day and you didn't tell me he was leaving, you naughty people, because, like, the week later, it was in the press. Yes, well, we didn't tell them either. Yeah. Uh, oh, how did that all come out? We gossiped it somewhere. Yeah. I mean, wh why, why did that all happen? Why did Steve leave? Yeah. Because um, I, think he, I think he enjoyed being in the band, but he didn't enjoy the fact that it took up nearly all his time, mm. really. So he just wants to travel and settle down with his girlfriend. I think right. the idea of going on tour for about five months, six months this year totally horrified him. Right. He thought, I can't do it, you know. As, as it perhaps it's all become a bit serious now in the sense of, you know, it is a major commitment, isn't it? Well, yeah. It's not serious, serious, but you have to be here, you know. You yeah. have to do certain things. Yeah. You have to play on the record, you know. Yeah. <laughs> sort of things like that, which right. he was sort of wanted to go off, you know, on holiday and that. So I can understand. Yeah. Sympathize. That means Phil gets in and does the thing. Yeah, well, everything's got its down. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying you're looking forward to going to America and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, I haven't been to Ireland. Like, I'm going to Ireland tomorrow. Yeah. We've been to Ireland tomorrow. Right. The travel stuff. Yeah. You've been to the States, of course. You've done that already. You? You're looking forward to going back and doing America again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Can't wait. Chris can't wait to go to California, can he? Yeah. California. Listen, we're, oh, you look very pretty on this one. Let's take a look at another video. <laughs> For love, uh, which brings us bang <laughs> up to date. What are you laughing at? <laughs> embarrassed by yourselves in there, or...? No, no. no, no, no. Yeah, it looks good. And well, Mickey's embarrassed for me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the pouting bass player. <laughs> That's good to have one. Well, listen, thanks for coming in anyway. And uh, have a good time out there on the road. And uh, look forward to seeing you when you get back into London to play. When, uh, well, when I ask you that, I've got to say goodbye anyway. Listen, uh, I've got to say au revoir. We're back again 9 o'clock next week, Central European Time, 120 minutes. Next week, Smashing Pumpkins will be in the studio. Uh, check Lush out when they're out on the road. They're well worth going to see live. And see you soon. Bye, all.